Couple years of the US General's full bank service cart. This thing is epic. Let's get into it. All right, guys, this is US General Harbor Freight's line of full bank tool cart, 34 inches. Realistically, you can expect 21 inches from back to front right up in here, and then 32 and some change from side to side, but they they label it as a 34 inch tool cart. This is absolutely fan, like, I don't know why, I, I over a decade ago, I did have a Cornwell full bank cart, and this thing is awesome, like probably a third of the cost of that one, and I cannot recommend this enough, you guys. So let's go over it real quick. Yeah, again, I you know it basically stays in my garage. I do roll it out for working in the in the driveway every once in a while. The casters are fantastic. I have no problems with them. The front ones lock on, no issues whatsoever. And if you guys, if I can get some light up here, say hi to my reflection. All you have to do is you just basically left or right, and the the, the drawer comes open. You do have the lock and unlock back here, as you guys can see, and then of course. On either side, it goes all the way down. You can, you know, I've got, you know, pry bars, pretty much everything long wise on the side. Up top, this does stay open pretty much most of the time, so I can just pile crap into here. But, you know, of course, you can close it down. Gas struts are, you know, adequate, I would say. Fantastic. No problems whatsoever. Again, no breakdowns, no nothing on this thing. It just basically, it's a box that holds tools. That's all I can say about it. It's, it's a box that holds tools. And, you know, mostly, you know, metric, you got your half inch back there. 3 8 these are Milwaukee's, and then we've got some gray pneumatics, some Milwaukee quarter inch impacts, and I think these are what are these gear wrenches as well as quarter inch here on the sides. Not much, nothing crazy here. Of course, I got plenty of tools and tool trailers and trucks and everything like that. Extras here, you know, you always need extra 10 millimeters. I think I just bought these just because I knew I was going to lose them. Um, because it's, it's just inevitable, it's going to happen. And of course, 13, this is another 13, yeah, 13 millimeter. That's all we have. Not much standard. I do have standard stuff. I just I just don't use it very often. I, it's that it is what it is. Um, the first one, of course, you do have keys. It is key. This is all blacked out, but you, my keys are right there. So, front one, basically just sockets. I'm not sockets. Sorry, uh, wrenches. You've got your torque wrenches, and then you've got your Milwaukee M12 ratcheting wrenches. These things are fantastic. And obviously, get yourself some. Not, I know they have the newer ones. These are, I think the, these are the first gen of the fuel ones. Fantastic, no problems whatsoever on these things. These are awesome. Extensions, quarter inch, three eighths, half inch. Uh, looks like I'm missing something there, but it is what it is. Next one. All right, so we got your basic wrenches and then we got some extra stuff over here. I do have plenty of wrenches in the bottom. I had to, you know, took out my icon box and sold that. And this one is the one I kept. We've got more pliers here. Of course, I've got plenty of pliers. If you guys follow my channel, oh, you know, I have multiple tool bags full of pliers. So this is just extras. You know, you got your, you got your zero snips on these ones. You've got Knipex. we got Crescent. you got Klein tools. you got some needle nose up there. And of course, vice grips. Uh, yeah, I mean, these, like, I forget where these come from, but these are nice for keeping stuff organized as far as pliers and everything. I do like those. I think I have another set I'll install here in a few. Oh, box end wrenches. These things, I mean... These are icons. You guys can see I got metric and standard. I don't use the uh, standard, or I don't use the standard very much at all. But these, I, I think the same. I can't remember. There's a higher quality, you know, a higher quality tool brand that uses the exact same manufacturer for these. I use the crap out of these box end wrenches, these ratcheting ones. These things are fan freaking tastic. Changing oil, pretty much anything I can, anything I can make an excuse about using them, I got them. And I, I bought these ones. I don't use these too much. I use the flex heads. But uh, I have them just in case I need them. Next, we got some more sockets. These are basically leftovers from when I took out the Icon box. And, you know, I've got some half inch. I've got three eighths here too. And a bunch of smorgasbord of crap over here. A bunch of stuff that I don't really ever use much. But it, it's here if I need it. You know, we got some Weehaw Vice Grips. We got, oh, this right here is a little Nomar hammer. This thing my, my uh, daughter picked out at the tool store, I think like three years ago, four years ago. So... And I was like, well, I don't really need it, but she picked it out and she really wanted it. So I bought it for her for her first tool. It's going to stay in here and I'll give it to her eventually when she's old enough to use it. And we got some more stuff down here. This is more sockets. Again, don't ever use this stuff very much. You got your swivel heads. These are gray pneumatics. Uh, we got some more gear wrench here, two quarter inch. Uh, just stuff that's taking up space. I don't want to put it anywhere else in the garage, so it's going to stay here. 
course, you got your Klein tools. This is the MM600, I want to say. And a weight, just to you know, see how much stuff weighs if you want to pick it up. Last one is a mess. I just threw this in here. Again, uh, taking out the Icon box, throwing crap in here. We got some more half inch stuff. This is, you know, the big boys right here. And you guys can see we got way more wrenches down here. These are the icons. I think I had to buy one of them. I had to get some, I think it was like a 28 millimeter or 29. And then, um, so I just bought the entire set. Um, haven't used much of them, but you know, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. That is for sure. So, and this is, I believe this is a serpentine belt tool. This thing is awesome. I mean, if you guys don't know, if you guys ever change out serpentine belts at all, Gear Wrench makes this. I mean, I'm sure everybody makes these now, but when I bought this years ago, I think over six, seven years ago now, fantastic. This tool is amazing for just getting certain belts off. It makes it so much easier. Of course, you got to map everything out still, but highly recommend that, man. That is awesome. That is sweet tool. Other than that, you guys on the sides, they do. I know Harbor Freight sells these extra, these can and screwdriver holders. These, you know, like I, you know, brake clean, whatever you need to on this side. Highly recommend it. And of course, I got the one down here too. It looks like it spilled out something, but we got brake parts, lubrication, and these are just these are just held on by magnets. That's all they are is magnets on the side. On the on the back side, if you guys want to take a look, we do have. I think it's a punch out for um, if you want to put some electric, you know, you want to put like a, a electrical in the in the front of it, you know, some sort of power strip, whatever it is. I'm sure that's probably that's probably the punch out for that. Bumpers on the side, of course, and then a, and then with the handle on the side too, makes it super easy for you know moving stuff around. No worries on this thing. Absolutely one of the best toolboxes I've ever owned uh, for what it is. And these things are cheap. Like, I think you can get them on sale for like, like a little bit over 500 bucks maybe. Like, wow. Compared to, you know, the major tool brand trucks. I get it. I know there's a lot of, you know, loyalty when it comes to, <laughs> when it comes to Snap-on, Mac tools, Mac Co and stuff. I get it. But for just a box that holds tools, and again, I'm not a professional mechanic by any means. I mean, I, 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 there's so, so much bang for your buck on this thing. No problems with the glides, no problems with the ball bearings. Everything slides out just fine. No worries whatsoever. Like again, I said, 21 inches from the front to the back and then 32 and some change left to right. That's the space you're working with. That's like the realistic space you're working with. Like and subscribe, you guys. I don't think I have any other thing to say about this toolbox. It has been an epic little toolbox for me, 100%. We'll see you on the next video.